Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more of the Royal Family. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Alright man, last episode, Barb was fed up, dude. Jim was being a bum. I don't think she felt appreciated. I think that's one of the things she said as well. And uh, yeah, he's playing games. And Anthony wasn't in the entire episode. He's missing the entire time. And I thought it was funny when she left and went for a walk. Even though she probably wanted to be left alone, it'd probably been nice for someone to be concerned. And all the way too lazy. <laughs> Nobody wanted to go look for Barb. Like, yo, y'all playing games, man. I was thinking she was going to be pissed. Like, nobody even cared about me. Nobody even came to check on me, you know? And Jim lied and said he was, like, looking for her or something. And, like, the moment that Barb and Jim had in the kitchen, it was kind of short and sweet. It was very, very nice thing. Like, they'll get through it together and all that jazz. And, uh, you know, they're blaming it all on the menopause. But sometimes it's just doing those small things make people feel appreciated. Yeah, mood swings and stuff that happened. But I think it's coming from somewhere, you know? It might be, like, a small feeling just being, you know, exacerbated by the condition. But it's still there. So doing those small things. Uh, really, really matter. It was funny to see how surprised everybody was that he actually got off his butt and made a cup of tea. You know, uh, that was very funny as well. And he went through this entire event planning like this dinner and stuff until he found out the dinner was gonna interrupt one of the shows. <laughs> like, yeah, the thought is a thought, right? It's a thought that counts. Oh no, Barb was right. She said she believed when she sees it, and that dude proved her right almost immediately. That there's a good chance he wasn't gonna do it. But yeah, dude, I enjoyed the previous episode. I thought it was uh, entertaining. So let's just go ahead and jump into this one, folks, and we'll talk about it more at the end. There you go. Is there anything else? Well, look, uh... Mike did. He must pinch himself every bloody morning, then. I bet you can't believe his own bloody luck. He used to be a comedian, you know, Mike Reed. Stitch that. Whoa, look. Switch it off, Jim. They'll be here soon. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just watch that, Bob. You were slagging it. Still got a fine pair, old Barbara the Windsor, hasn't she? I'll give her that. Hey, Jim. Do you think we've got enough lagers? Oh, I hope we have. Will you nip out for some if we haven't? What, with? Oh. Oh. Twiggy. You all right, Bob? Yeah. Why not? All right, Twig. All right, Jim. You got that sovereign ring, Twiggy? Have I ever let you down, Bob? Oh, yeah, I will. Oh. Lovely look, Jim. Nice one. Better get it wrapped up. How much do we owe you for the ring, Twig? Uh, 20 notes. How much did you pay for it? 20 notes? Hey, I don't rip off me mates, you know. Go away, you'd flog your bloody grandmother, you, Twig. Hey, Bam, looks like a nice buffet. Oh, don't start it now. Oh, hey, Twiggy, you should have brought your girlfriend. Oh, I'm not seeing her now. Oh, you're not. Well, she was a bit of a bike, really. Well, I thought that's a why what? you liked it. Yeah, but you don't want everyone else having to go on it. You know what I mean? Oh, everybody like rides her. that Twiggy. Okay. I think she that's was what I mean. for you at that petrol station. Yeah. Are you going to get changed for the party, Jim? Well, I'm all right like this, aren't I? Party, come on, party, my ass. You've only made a few budgies, haven't you? And that's only because you want to look at Emma. Will you blow those balloons up for me, Jim? He's 18, Bob, not bloody eight. Well, will you blow them up then, Twiggy? Yeah, uh, yeah, no danger. When I was 18, my old man took me for the bevy and that was it. Jim, they're only a few balloons. We had them for Denise. So we're going to have to have them for Anthony. Hey, Jim. Who does that remind you of? Beverly <laughs> Packer. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Twiggy, how about this one? He better tell that Oh, nurse, what finish. time for me off the reach? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to tie like, barely uh, blew up like that. Like, where you play a game? It's like a nibble. I tell you, what it takes, I don't see this, doesn't it? Hey, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dark story. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> hey, leave, leave that like that. That bloody annoyed on me. She coming? Yeah, she's off tonight. It's not Halloween, is it? Which one are you? This is Darren, ma'am. Oh. Would you like a drink, Dave? Oh, I'll have a lager, please, Barbara. Denise? Uh, anything, ta? Ma'am, would you like a drink? No, better not. Oh, go on, then. I'll, I'll have a sherry, love. Yeah, he saw it coming. <laughs> Oh no, he's actually doing it. Got no music on now. It's broke. Don't worry, I'll get the banjo out in a minute. Oh, leave off that thing, Jim. 
We don't want Emma thinking we're the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, <laughs> deliverance, you mean. Oh, Turner. Oh, Turner. How are you, Denise? Have you had a nice day? Yeah. I spent most of it doing her hair. It's a party, Dave. Yeah, it's a party, Dave. Oh, Jim. Put your shoes on. We don't want a whiff of them feet. <laughs> Smell like stilts, <laughs> them. Mm. And Dad, when Emma's here, if you go for a wee, shut the toilet door. And don't pick your ass. Bloody hell, I may as well sit in the bleeding shed. <laughs> <laughs> this gets weird. <laughs> Get that door, Bob! Oh, that'll be Anthony with Emma. Come on, baby, we're going to see Sonia's dog. Wait a minute. Hello, love. Hiya. Hello, Emma. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anthony. Happy birthday to you. Uh, this is Emma. <laughs> there you go, Lech. So she did. Oh, that's well smart. Oh, so what can I do? That's nice. Oh, oh smart. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, well smart. Oh, nice. Oh, well nice. Oh, yeah, that's well oh, smart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that, hey. Oh, hey, oh, that's cool. Wow. Oh, it does suit you, Anthony. Oh, suit you, sir. Oh, suit you, sir. Oh, do you want it? Oh, do you, sir? Do you, sir? Do you want it? Oh, do you? Oh, 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 oh. What do you do? It's his birthday <laughs> present. Hey, do you know Patrick who owns jazz bowls? He's got three of them sovereigns on his hand in a row there. See there? Looks top. <laughs> She's not one of us, man. Really, instead. And honestly, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. She can have dairy leaf, can't she, Denise? Yeah. What is she? She's a vegetarian, Anna. Oh, you could have a bit of cheese, though. Have you got some cheese, Barbara? Oh, Emma, it's a shame for you. <laughs> if she doesn't want anything. She doesn't want any leave the girl alone. She's all right. Hey, that's a belting little car you've got, love. What does your, what does your dad drive? Could you have some wafer-thin ham? Ha could she have wafer-thin ham, Barbara? Yeah, no. Oh. oh. Uh, do you know, we've heard nothing from Anthony but Emma, Emma, Emma. <laughs> Um, it's the first time I've known Anthony courting. Oh, Nana, don't be saying that. Uh, is your Nana still alive, Emma? Yeah. Does she live with you? No. Emma, Emma, I've had my cataracts done, and if you'd have come here two weeks ago, I, I wouldn't have been able to see you. Why? Because I had this patch on my eye. It's a very serious operation, but um, I don't say anything. God bless him. But I was very well looked after here. I didn't want to go home. <laughs> I'll get a little drink. Oh, no. Did you know Denise was pregnant, Emma? No, I didn't. Yeah, we're having a baby. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Aw, thanks, Emma. Mum? Anthony never even told Emma that I'm pregnant. Oh, she didn't know about my cataracts either. Gross. I'm sorry, Emma. You're all right. Oh, Dave, <laughs> take it off, you big clown. Oh, I'm so sorry, Emma. I'll leave it on to dry, and then it'll be easy to get off. Oh, man, would you get his shoe off him? Look for luck. Sorry, Emma. Sorry, Emma. Everybody <laughs> 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 else just says, I just apologize. Sorry, Emma. It's all right. 
Beautiful. Bet this never happens at your house, does it? Oh. Well, she be right, the <laughs> she's oh, like a oh, that's cool. Hey, where'd you get that shell? I ain't getting anything like that, you know. Now tell me. Out, Have you got enough there, Dave? Well, she's not done me any tea, has she? Hey, hey, Darren, Darren, Darren. I want to show you something. I saw Bob Carter. I hadn't seen him for 15 years, and I saw him today. He grew up on our street, and then he moved. Very way, I think it was. I hadn't seen him for 15 years, and then bugger me, tends to put the ball in for him. <laughs> Very good show. Hey, he's sober, you're talking all. Nice and clean. <laughs> he's drunk, he's talking all. He has no in between. Hey, Sage! Hey, Sage! Hey, Sage! Hey, you gotta say something. <laughs> well, alright, uh, I'd just like to say um, thanks to everyone for coming. Oh. <laughs> Did you welcome to like that speech, Darren? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember, Anthony, when you were a little boy and used to come in wanting 10p from mm. me? And then you used to do the birdie song for me. Oh. <laughs> I scarcely hope when you are near that life holds nothing dear but you. The smiles that once you gave to me, I scarcely <laughs> ever see them now. Careless. And when the fields are fresh and green, I'll take you to your You still smell shit in here. <laughs> what do you say? You can't give me the drink. Oh no. <laughs> I can still smell the shit in here. Bro, that's a long song. It felt like it was going on for a long time, but it's probably like the average length of any song, like three or so minutes. I thought uh, Nana was just being extra, you know, like she's always been. But she was actually thinking about her husband and all that, dude. So it's just kind of sweet and sad at the same time. Um, even Anthony held his girlfriend's hand and stuff, and they're like really getting invested. Well, old boy just staring at the TV and just say he smells shit. Oh, that was fantastic. And probably because of them, because they're all over her and talk about how much like Anthony talks about her and all that jazz. But part of it just felt like she didn't fit in, you know, being like a vegetarian and she didn't want any beer or any type of alcohol in general. She wouldn't take any cheese and all that jazz. Maybe they're just not used to people like, you know, turning all those things down or having like that type of lifestyle, the vegetarian lifestyle and stuff. Actually, I thought Anthony was gonna have a problem with the gift because, you know, kids, like whenever it comes to like, uh, parents getting their kids gifts people just don't like it but he, he really, really digged it that was nice and i also thought the dad was gonna end up making fun of anthony in front of his girlfriend like really bad you know where it's to the point where he's embarrassed because sometimes anthony has a look on his face like he's just super upset he doesn't really say that he just kind of like takes the jabs you know most of the time i thought that was gonna happen during this and he's gonna be upset and all that jazz but no man he made a couple jokes which worked out great emma laughed at him rocking a banjo singing for his birthday funny kid on the couch he's so quiet he's like a person of few words until anthony comes in and they start like doing that whole thing back and forth and barb didn't know what was going on i didn't know what was going on either it's just like guess you know chuck it up to that generation and stuff and what they're into also old girl for life making think of her name but the one they always call big and she's always on diets and all that stuff she looked bigger like they stuffed a pillow on her shirt or something in this episode that's what it looked like I'm like, did they make her bigger on purpose? Like, what are they doing? Are they trying to make it seem like she, like, gained weight? But it looked like a pillow in her shirt when she walked in. And this show, I realized they really just picked some odd moments to, like, stretch out. Like, Barb and old girl having a conversation while she's, like, chucking shit out of a shoe. They went over for, like, five or six minutes of her cleaning shit out of a shoe. I was like, oh, my God, they're out of control. And then she got super close when she smelled it. Like, oh, my God, what are you doing, man? And old boy talks a whole lot and sings when he's drunk. He's, like, a completely different person. I guess she said about anybody when they get super plastered. Sometimes they're a different person, you know? Some people are just more mellow versions of themselves or more a slightly goofy version of themselves. That guy just seems completely opposite, man. He's freaking singing. He's having conversations. The whole shebang as opposed to one word and everything, you know? So, yeah, man. I enjoyed this episode. Don't have much else to say. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.